don't go uh, on live a lot, but I'm investing. I'm asking for anybody out there to pray for Tyson. I went home. I went, was on the way home today, and the doctor called me and told me to come back. Come back to Gainesville. Uh, <laughs> Tyson wasn't doing well at all. <laughs> but I'm asking y'all, ain't now anybody out there, just pray for him. Pray for him. And the doctor gave us a couple options to take him home and just let him let him enjoy the couple of days that he has <laughs> or you know just sit here and at the hospital with him he's not a candidate for the heart surgery that he needs because of his immune deficiency <laughs> and uh, having the heart surgery would cause him to suffer more <laughs> so yeah, I want y'all to meet Tyson King Lanier. And I want y'all to pray for him. I know. I trust God. I trust God. I trust God. But it, it hurts. It hurts. And I know that Tim and I are not God, so we can't make the decision. They want us, you know, the doctor asked if we wanted him to be resuscitated if his, if his heart stops. Uh, right now they have him on a lot of, um, they have him on morphine and uh, something else to, to keep him calm because he's been gasping for air. <laughs> Just asking, asking you all to pray for him. Pray for him. Pray that he doesn't suffer the cardiac surgeon and the team of doctors don't want to perform the surgery on him because he has an immune deficiency. He has a severe uh, heart defect called Tetralogy of Fallot pulmonary atresia with MAPCUS. And he has an immune deficiency, so they say that they open him up and it causes infection. So they just want him to <laughs> just have a peaceful death. <laughs> right now, he's on morphine and something else. Um, to keep him to keep him I'm gonna take this off his head right now. Well you go tell the nurse that he is uh that he's moving and in pain. I'm tasting it. I'm this baby. He's probably at the other nurse's station. <laughs> um. I've never, never was able to bring Tyson home from the hospital. I had him December 28th, and he's been hospitalized um, ever since then. So,
Yes, can we get the mercy here real quick? Um. Ruel, he's like moving like he's in real bad pain. Um, there is a, a doctor, um, Frank Hanley out in California, out of Stanford, um, that does the unifocalization, um, and he has a 98% success rate, but... Uh, one of Tyson's doctor uh, doctors is supposed to be speaking to him about Tyson's case, but another one of the doctors that's here tonight's like she doesn't believe that they'll take his case because of how severe he is. Um, um, and the only people that. Uh, so he'll need a heart transplant first before they can fix his immune deficiency uh, issue with the thymus transplant. And the only people who do the doctors who, where they do the thymus transplant is at Duke. But he's not even a candidate for the thymus transplant without the heart uh, surgery. And they don't want to perform the heart surgery because of the because of the uh, immune deficiency. So, <laughs> thank y'all for your prayers. <laughs> I need them. Because when the doctors ask you if you want your baby resuscitated, when his heart stops, not if his heart stops, but when his heart stops, you don't want him to suffer. But you also don't want to make that call either. <laughs> Shit, I know he's a miracle worker. I know he is. I've seen him do it. He's done it with me. He's done it with Kendall. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Terrell. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. My faith is strong. My faith is strong. Thank you. Yes, he is, Kim. Thank you, Monisha. Thank you, Marie and Coach Willie. (laughs) 
<laughs> Tyson's supposed to be on the court. <laughs> like his big brothers. Ask him for y'all to pray. <laughs> y'all to pray for him. <laughs> and I know who is whatever's in God's will. I tr I'm trusting him for it. I'm trusting him for it. I know right now it hurts. It hurts real bad for your child, your baby to be in pain. And you can't do anything. You can't turn it off. You can't do anything to fix it. 